Hey everyone, it's Zach. So this morning I was watching a video from Eric Thomas and I'm paraphrasing a quote that he said, but it was, if we are not where we want to be, it's often because we don't know how to get there. And success oftentimes leaves clues. So when we look at in real estate with setting goals, trying to sell so many homes a year or help, help so many families, I guarantee there's somebody that is already reaching that level of success that we want to get to. And so with success leaves clues, they leave the roadmap of how to get there. So there's oftentimes something they know that we don't know that's preventing us from getting there. And so if we start looking at our situation, getting to our goals is almost like climbing a ladder. There's different stages that we could be at. Some of our agents are halfway to their goal being halfway through the year. Some have already hit and surpassed their yearly goal already in July, or some agents are struggling and they're stuck down here. But the problem is I, I've seen is we need to take that first step. We need to reach up the ladder. You can't climb it if we don't have effort. We have to put in the work. And so I think that really starts with mastering the foundation, learning the basics, going back to the basics. We sometimes face analysis paralysis because real estate has so much information, residential, commercial, vacant land, leases, all this different stuff. And it can just overwhelm somebody. So we need to go back to the basics. And that's what we need to master. And that's going to have a lot bigger effect on your business and help you start climbing this ladder. But again, you have to take the first step. You have to be honest with yourself and figure out, okay, of the basics, what am I not comfortable with? And so if we look at the basics from a previous video that I've made, here's the real estate formula. It starts with leads your database and following up. And these are three big categories, but it kind of helps build the framework of the foundation and knowing, well, where are we struggling within these subcategories that's preventing us from hitting our goals? So number one is leads. So with leads, there's really kind of two sides to leads. There's marketing and there's negotiating, sales. So some agents, they say, well, Zach, if I go on an appointment, I close the majority of the appointments I go on. I know how to negotiate. I know how to uh, fill out listing agreements and stuff like that. Okay. So maybe it's not a negotiating problem. Maybe it's a lack of understanding of proper marketing. We need more leads in the door. We need to meet more people. So where can we find different tactics to start marketing? Well, what I like to always show with hitting goals and reaching a level of success is I oftentimes want to find somebody that is doing what I want to do. And if I start doing what they're doing, oftentimes I have a great chance of getting to where they're at. So start watching people that have the level of success you want. What are they doing with marketing? Study the competition, know what they're doing. Are they sending out mass emails? Are they canvassing different neighborhoods? Are they calling people every single day? Are they meeting with people in their sphere of influence? Are they going to different community events or hobby groups? What are they doing to market and brand themselves? Let me learn that first. Then let me go to negotiating the skills. Now I'm getting my name out there, but I really don't know how to negotiate and sell something. So again, there's so many people that are a much higher level skill set than we are. Let's learn from those people. YouTubes, uh, YouTube videos, books, podcasts. Uh, you could watch other agents that are closing 50, 60, 100 deals a year. What are they saying in their listing presentations? What are they saying in their buyer appointments? And start learning from the best of the best. And if we go to stage two, which is our database, do we even have a database? There's a, such a big correlation with agents that are not hitting their goals and the size of their database. If I've seen databases, uh, people don't have them. They have five people, they have 10 people. Well, statistically, we know 10% of people move every single year. So how many people do we have in our database that we're following up with? Uh, do I know how to use the database? Is that the problem that could help us get to the next row up and closer to our goals? So there's different webinars to watch, to learn how to use the database. You guys can reach out to me and say, hey, how do I set this up? How do I import leads? How do I create different drip campaigns? How do I follow up with people? And that's the third stage is following up. We know statistically 98 to 99% of sales are not made on the first contact with people. First time you talk to somebody, statistically, they're probably not going to agree to sell their house with you or buy a house. So we have to follow up. And then again, statistically, most sales are made on the seventh to 12th contact. 
So look at your follow-up system, analyze it, be truthful with yourself. Am I actually following up with people? Am I providing enough content? Am I providing enough value? That's the big thing as well, is creating a value proposition within my follow-up, knowing that, hey, if I just call people seven to 12 times throughout the year and say, do you want to buy or sell a house with me? They, they might start getting annoyed with that. They might stop answering our calls. So instead of value proposition, with your sphere of influence, it could be, hey, let's go grab coffee. Let's go walk the greenway. Is it, hey, here's a market report for your neighborhood to show you what's selling in that neighborhood. Here's a list of vendors that can help you with roofing stuff or plumbing or electrical. So find out within this system where we are lacking and start learning that. If you watched a previous video of mine called the 1% rule, it's how can I get 1% better each and every day? Because that's how we create the compounding effect. We did the same thing with building our brokerage. In the very, very beginning, nobody knew who we are. So we had to bring in agents because we truly wanted to help agents hit their goals. And so we had to get our name out there. How do we start marketing ourselves? Well, maybe we add our name on the top of every single contract. So it builds that brand awareness. We start going to different realtor events, going to association events, starting to email people, text people, starting to make YouTube content, reaching out to people on social media, building that brand awareness, following up with people, learning how to sell. I just bought a book the other day from uh, Jordan Belfort learning the way of the wolf. It's every single day trying to stack skills to keep learning and learning and learning. And then same thing with creating a database. We did the same thing with agents. Uh, we were told in the beginning, this isn't going to work. You should just join us. And now we are the fastest growing office in middle Tennessee. And that's for a reason, because we stick to the foundation. We do the basics really, really well. And so we were doing that with competition, learning what the competition do, does, success leaving clues. So we were hearing from agents, hey, I can't get a hold of my broker. Well, that's one of our top priorities. Make sure they can always contact us. Or I'm tired of my uh, paying a gigantic split to my broker. Well, again, we've removed that. So start learning what people want and offering a solution. Success leaves clues. Acknowledge what do I not know within my business? What's going to help me climb up the ladder to get closer to my goals? And take that step today. Because our biggest enemy is tomorrow. Saying, hey, I'll wait till tomorrow to start doing this. I'll wait till next week. Or I'm going on vacation. And suddenly saying, I'll do it tomorrow, turns into a week, turns into a month, turns into a year, and we've never taken the first step. That's what I try to preach with agents is take the first step. I guarantee Taylor and I, we will run the first mile up front for you. We're just saying, take the first step. So any agent that's struggling to climb the ladder, take the first step, find out where in your business are you lacking the knowledge to get you up the ladder faster. And if you have any questions, if you need any help, always reach out. We are here to help you. Uh, my cell phone will be listed below. Obviously, you have Taylor's contact as well. So comment below anything that I can help with. And I'll see you guys next time.